Okay, so everyone wants to know what's going to, like, make or break this whole electric car future, right? Right. Like, we hear a lot about, you know, not enough charging stations or people worrying about running out of juice on the road. Mm -hmm. But uh, what if I told you the real issue might be something way more basic? Oh, be I'm listening? Lithium. You know, that stuff they use to make the batteries actually work. Ah, the magic ingredient. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And right now, it's like a total free-for-all to get enough of it, which is why this whole GM thing is so huge. Yeah, what is it, like 625 million bucks they're dropping on a lithium mine? Yeah. Wild. 625 million. That's, like, not just spare change lying around. That's, to me at least, a really big signal about how important they think lithium is going to be. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this isn't just about, you know, churning out more cars. It's about controlling the literal ingredients of this whole electric revolution. Right. Like becoming the lithium king or something. Pretty much. And think about this. This one mine they're investing in, the Thacker Pass project over in Nevada, that thing could potentially pump out enough lithium to make 800,000 EVs every year. Once it's up and running, of course. 800,000. Yeah, 800,000. That's a huge chunk of what GM wants to be building. So basically, they're trying to, like, cut out the middleman, control everything from the ground up. Exactly. It's all about securing the supply chain, making sure they've got a steady flow of this stuff. Okay, so that's one side of it. But here's where I got really interested. They also threw, like, another 10 million at this company, Forge Nano. That's all about making EV batteries way more efficient. Right. Like they're hedging their bets in a way. So it's not just about having the lithium, but using it as cleverly as possible, too. Totally. It's like a two pronged approach. You know, on one hand, they're grabbing up the raw materials. And on the other, they're putting money into tech that could, well, maybe even make lithium less important down the line. So it's like, let's get a ton of this stuff, but also figure out how to use less of it over time. Smart. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, who knows which battery tech is going to win out in the long run? With it's still early days, right? True, true. And speaking of who knows, this whole Ultium battery thing, that kind of fizzled out, didn't it? GM kind of backed away from that whole branding push. Yeah, it did seem to just disappear, didn't it? I think that's related to all this. Like maybe they're keeping their options open tech wise. It's definitely possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they're investing in ways to make batteries more efficient or even replace lithium altogether, it makes sense to not be too attached to any one type of battery right now. Makes you wonder what they're cooking up in those labs. I know, right? <laughs> it's going to be really interesting to see what kind of battery tech emerges as the dominant one. But in the meantime, yeah, we got to talk about the elephant in the room, right? Uh-oh. What elephant? What I miss? Lithium mining itself, it can be, well, it can be really rough on the environment, big time. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a whole other can of worms. <laughs> exactly. It's a huge concern, and I think people are becoming more and more aware of the impact. So question is, what's GM going to do about it? Do they have a plan? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? They have to have a plan, right? Uh -huh. I mean, people are watching, especially environmental groups, they're going to be all over this. Oh, for sure. Greenwashing, this ain't going to fly. Not a chance. They'll have to be transparent about their processes, show how they're minimizing the impact, all that. Makes you wonder, though, is this going to be a trend? Like, are we going to see Ford and Toyota and everyone else buying up mines, too? It's possible. Imagine, like, the next level of competition isn't about who's got the fastest car. Right. It's about who's got the biggest lithium stash. Right. Like, oh, yeah, we've got a million acres of lithium rich land. How about you? Crazy. That'd be wild. So what do you think? Is that going to be the deciding factor or will it be the companies that figure out how to recycle batteries perfectly or even come up with something totally new that doesn't need lithium at all? Honestly, it's probably going to be a combination of all of it. Securing the lithium is a smart move right now for sure. But those companies that can innovate, the ones that find ways to be more sustainable and less reliant on mining in the long run, those are the ones I'd keep my eye on. It's like the race is on, but we don't even know what the finish line looks yeah, like exactly. yet. Exactly. And that's what makes it so yeah. fascinating. Right? Totally. All right, folks, there you have it. Another deep dive in the books. But we want to know what you think. Hit us up on social media. Let us know your predictions for the future of EV batteries. Will lithium reign supreme or will something else take the crown? Let us know. Until next time. Keep on diving.